Good evening, I'm John Purvis. The president of the Socorro School Board speaks out after the board put the superintendent on paid leave following an investigation that revealed potential conflicts of interest. CBS 4 has live team coverage for you in Far East El Paso where our reporter Harrison Parker is at Socorro ISD headquarters to walk us through the events that led to the board's action. But we begin with CBS 4 at 530's Jennifer Cuevas, who's also live there, to let you know what the board president had to say. That's right, John. Well, that news conference wrapped up just before 5 p.m. and the board president of SISD took questions from the media regarding yesterday's board decision to place the superintendent, Dr. Nate Carmen, on the paid administrative leave. Take a listen. In the course of yesterday's board meeting, um, we were presented a summary of the findings for a forensic audit completed by Weaver uh, in Tidwell. Uh, it was during those findings uh, they presented um, a possible conflict of interest where um, Dr. Carmen was um, provided as the involved party. Board President Michael Najera says when there is a violation, it's standard procedure to place an employee on administrative paid leave pending an investigation. When asked if it would be easier to cut ties with the superintendent given his short time left with the district, Najera says Texas law provides employees certain avenues to protect themselves, and the district is doing what is required by Texas law. Now, I also asked the board president if he has any plans on resigning given the findings from the Weaver's forensic audit, to which Najera responded, no. Now, the audit also revealed fears of retaliation by district employees. Najera says while he can't speak for the board, he would address those concerns with a climate survey. And um, we're not shying away from the deficiencies, you know, because fear of retaliation, uh, low morale, those can be considered deficiencies as well. So um, I believe that would be the steps to take. Take a culture survey. Um, and reveal exactly, you know, um, where the deficiencies are and try to remedy them. Now, later tonight, I'll have more on how the board president says they will be addressing the findings in the audit. For now, reporting live in Far East El Paso, Jennifer Cuevas, CBS 4 at 530. We're going to send it over now to Harrison Parker, who will tell us more on how the district got to this situation. Superintendent Nate Carmen was suspended indefinitely after an outside auditor found issues with his relationship with a district supplier. On March 22nd, 2022, this, this would have been within a week or so of Dr. Carmen officially starting his role as superintendent at Socorro ISD. That's Travis Kastner from Weaver, the outside accounting firm. He laid out a detailed timeline of Nate Carmen's relationship with ABM Group, a company that offers architectural consulting. Weaver reviewed months of Carmen's emails with ADM, which suggests that Carmen had been working with ADM even before he applied to be Socorro's superintendent. Before he even started the job, he implied ADM could have business under his watch. Well, uh, with the representative from ADM Group, where he discussed uh, the possible facilities analysis of the auxiliary gyms, which were also referred to as the multi-purpose buildings, uh, and that, that that work may be in store sooner rather than later. Weaver said Carmen and other board members attended an ADM event in San Diego while soliciting bids for architectural consulting. Less than one month after becoming chair of the administration committee involved in choosing a vendor, ADM was selected for a contract that Weaver said stands around $90,000. Well, Weaver's report also flagged a $7.8 million federal, federal support bill that uh, was spent on HVAC and lighting after COVID. Now, the report also includes a trove of potential abuses of power that, K, that KFOX and CBS4 are still investigating. We'll certainly let you know as we learn more. Reporting from the SISD offices, Harrison Parker, CBS4 at 530. CBS4 has requested the full forensic audit of the Socorro School District and will continue following this story for you, including more team coverage tonight on CBS4 at 10. You can also find the latest coverage at CBS4local.com.